Photo Line is a registered trademark of Computer Insole, and I am in no way affiliated with Computer Insole. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the airbrush tool as well as some of the uh, fill tools available to you in Photo Line. If I come over to my toolbox and select the airbrush, you've got some options up here. You've got your intensity, which you can set from 0 to 100. And I'm going to go ahead over and paint. And it works pretty much like the paintbrush, but it's a little more smooth when you draw. And you may prefer this to the paintbrush. It's just a matter of preference. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Below that, you've got your flood fill tool. If you select that and click somewhere in your picture, it's going to fill up your picture with uh, whatever you have as the foreground color. In this case, it's red, as you can see here. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And if you have a picture, I'm going to open up my cat picture and click inside the wall here. That's just going to fill in wherever there is white or whatever color you click on, as you can see there. And you can adjust the tolerance up here on the left as well as the intensity. Also, what you can do is if you, can, if you select your lasso tool, and then select your fill tool and click somewhere. It's going to fill in just where you have your lasso tool there. Up above that to the right you've got your color blend tool which is like your fill tool but basically creates a gradient inside of my uh, lasso tool. I'm just going to click and drag and that's going to create a line as you can see and when I let go it's going to create a gradient and that gradient is based on my line so if I click and do it in different ways you'll see that adjusts the gradient as well and you can come up here and if you click this arrow right here you've got some presets which you can select and if you want to customize that you've got your colors here which you can adjust and you can drag these to adjust the gradients or if you double click inside of them it's going to bring up your color palette and you can adjust each color individually like so so now I've got a blue going to a green when I drag in there it's going to create that gradient for me. But that's how you use the airbrush tool and your fill tools.